The Prisoner. This episode I remember that aired with a lot of anticipation by the fans because it was after a bit of a hiatus. Uh, after the pet, which was released on well, ha um, October, not on Halloween, but it was around uh, October when it was released, that we had to wait a long time until we got a new episode, which was The Prisoner, which is one of my personal favorites. Um, this is when uh, Commander Peepers uh, has like a bigger role. This is like a pe Peepers. Uh, yeah. This is more of a Peepers. Uh, centered story in which uh, Lord Hare asks uh, Peepers to bring Wander so he can torture him. And of course uh, he thinks, oh, this is gonna be easy because he's just a wandering weirdo. And Hare warns Peepers to not to not underestimate Wander because he's cunning, he's a genius, and whatever. And of course Peepers is like, yeah, right, that hippie. And of course, he gets Wander onto the ship, which was very easy, and even calls up Hater like, Hey, I got Wander! Yeah, I have him right here. And then uh, Wander gets out from under him, and basically, Peepers has to chase him around the ship and bring him to Lord Hater. That's basically the whole story. And the shenanigans that they get into, and even the chase scene between Wander and Peepers, it goes from typical thing like going from one door to another, from one room to somewhere else, and this very trippy chase scene that could rival a bit the the, the chase scene between the, the cobbler and the thief in The Thief and the Cobbler. If you haven't seen the movie, watch it. Um, if, especially if you're an animation fan. It's Richard Williams. Come on, Roger Rabbit, people. Um, it has. It's really cool to see the inside of the ship because, of course, in many scenes throughout the show, you really don't know how big it is because you get to see certain areas of the ship throughout the series, but in this one, you get to see a lot more from where they keep the weapons, the firing range, even a freaking food court with the map and everything, and that's adorable. Um, oh yeah, and when when Hater is telling Peepers that hey, Wander is not to be underestimated. Uh, they show clips on how Wander somehow foiled Hader's plans from getting a gem of power, the ring of power. And of course, the <laughs> the biggest reference of all, the He-Man reference. He, uh, Hader doesn't uh, finish the reference, but he does says, I have the power, because he has like a flaming sword, and I do mean it, like a sword in flames. But Wander's like, oh my god, you're gonna get burned, and throws like a bucket of water, uh, dowsing everything and the the, <laughs> the sword is like just a typical sword instead of with flames and it would have been what the power sword or something like the power glove or something the nintendo do that do the power sword um and so throughout the episode peepers chasing wander whatever which really does beg the question is wander really just ignorant like blissfully ignorant or is he really intelligent just with a bit of ADD or maybe ADHD with a bit of anxiety attacks like I mentioned in the other, in the other episodes. He does seem like, yes, he has a certain level of intelligence and even proper in certain scenes because he does speak eloquently sometimes. But in other times he's just like blissfully ignorant like in this episode but at the end when we get to see haters run like behind so many doors and that's awesome and he has a water bed and a big plasma screen TV in the back, and you have like an, uh, a self-destruct button, which people says that it was a bad idea. You see Wander's face like realizing, hey, I have something that can destroy this ship. Mm. Like this grin appears on his face and he's so mischievous and he just keeps on running around like, hey peepers, I have the control. And of course, Peepers panics and corners him and also throws Wander into prison. And thinks, okay, finally I got him. But then Sylvia, somehow, uh, gets into the ship because of course Wander drove the ship a bit and got way, way away from where Sylvia and he were sleeping in. Or were sleeping at, sorry. So Sylvia gets Wander out. Wander thought that the whole chase was a tour of the ship. And so... Peepers is panicking because the ship is going to destroy it in any, in, in any second. And of course, Hater uh, confronts him and 
<laughs> Peepers is like panicking, like completely like, oh, he, I got him, I did, uh, but you know how Mondays are, I didn't get any sleep, like trying to bring up excuses, but at the end he does of course admit that Hater was right, that Wander is a cunning genius, and he doesn't want to die. <laughs> and so Lord Hater uh, mutters the password, which, which is Lord Hater, number one, superstar. Peepers is relieved that the ship is not exploding, and but Hater is of course still gonna torture him for failing. And at the end, you get uh, in the animatic at the end, you get to see another part of the room of Hater, which he had like this big, big boombox along with a bunch of guitars. And Wonder's like playing on the guitar, like, yeah, awesomeness, like space dragons, food court. And Peepers is still chasing him around, and of course, Wander's like, bye bye. Sort of like a wily e. coyote, and, uh, and, uh, bleh. sort of like a wily e. coyote versus the Roadrunner, like I mentioned in the picnic. It was really cute and also funny. Mm. This episode doesn't have a moral, unlike a uh, few of the other episodes. It's like a typical adventure thing, but mostly. Uh, paying attention to one of the side villains, well, it's, he's not really a side villain, but still, he's a villain, uh, Commander Peepers, which Tom Kenny, thank you for voicing him, he's amazing. Um, and that's pretty much it. We know that he has, uh, that Lord Hayda has a destruct button, and has this awesome portrait of him being, like, super muscly, surrounded by two skeletal women, like, ooh, ah, like... <laughs> The, like, you know, the typical nerd thing that, hey, they're gonna be adored by women, beautiful women. And I'm glad that Craig McCracken uploaded that image on Tumblr after the episode aired. I remember that so well. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. And that's it. Nothing much. Nothing much else to say. Let's continue!